I am Dr. H. Girjabai, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Satyavama Institute of Science and Technology, Deemed to be University, Chennai. Okay, today we are going to discuss about change order of integration. So, before getting into the problems, let me briefly summarize how to integrate the double integration. Okay, yes, students, we will see the first problem. Problem is change order of integration, double integral 0 to 1, x to 2 minus x, x by y, dy dx and hence evaluate. Okay, let me see how to evaluate this problem. So, first thing you have to look into the limits. Whatever be the given order, just forget about that even though it is in the right sense. So, we have to identify the order. So, how to identify the order? To identify the order, we have to go through the limits. So, go through the limit, check whether is all the limits are constant. So, here it is not the constant limits. Here the limits range is between x to 2 minus x. Therefore, it is a variable limit. In terms of x, therefore, this one is a limit for y. So, the other one is a limit for x. Okay. Therefore, first step in the change order of integration is given order. Given order. What is the given order? In this manner, we have to integrate. Therefore, the given order is dy dx. Therefore, to change the order of integration, to change the order of integration, what you have to do? We have to reverse it. That is, first you have to integrate with respect to x and then with respect to y. So, we identify the order. According to that, we have to consider a strip. How to consider a strip? If integrate with respect to x means we have to consider a horizontal strip. If integrate with respect to y means we have to consider a vertical strip. So, we identify the order. So, according to that we considering a horizontal strip. Okay. So, second step. Second step is you have to for the corresponding limits for the corresponding order we have to find the new limits. To find the new limits first we are supposed to identify the bounded region. So, how to find the bounded region? From the given region only we may find out the limits for the new order. Okay. Therefore, write it out the given region. So, already we identify these two are the limits for y. Therefore, y is equal to x, y is equal to 2 minus x and the remaining two x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. These two are the given region. So, we have to plot and we have to identify the bounded region. Okay. Before to uh, plot that uh, region, it is better just to rewrite everything in a proper manner. These two already is there in the proper sense. These two are representing the these three representing a lines. But here x power y power is 1. So, this is also representing a line, but it is not in the proper way. So, how to rewrite? Just a rewrite like this. x plus y is equal to 2. x by 2 y by 2 is equal to 1 intercept form just remember it x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. So, x intercept is a y intercept is b got it. So, these are these four are the regions. So, we may plot this region now s. Yes. So, just to draw a diagram rough diagram x axis y axis ok. First to plot the line x is equal to y. How to plot the line x equal to y? That is a perfect bisector of the first quadrant. Am I correct? If you have any doubt to draw this line, just randomly allocate some points. Okay. That is if you substitute x is equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. The relation here it is x is equal to y. So, what is the value of y? 0, 1, 2, etc. If you go and keep on just substituting the points 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, just join the line. Join all the points. It representing the line y is equal to x. Is it okay students? So, next we have to plot the point x is equal to 0. What is x is equal to 0? It is nothing but equation of y axis. Okay. And thereafter x is equal to 1. x is equal to 1 means the line parallel to y axis passing through the point 1 comma 0. Okay. This is the line x is equal to 1. Wherever two lines or curve intersect, we have to find out the point of intersection. Isn't it? Therefore, here the line y equal to x and x is equal to 1 intersecting now. So, find that point of intersection by substituting x is equal to y here. What is the value of y? y is equal to 1. Therefore, the point of intersection is 1 comma 1. Got it? And we have to plot one more that is nothing but what is that? x by 2, y by 2 is equal to 1 that is x intercept 2, y intercept 2. Just join the line or join those two points. In that case, we may have doubt either that line passes through this point of intersection or somewhere else. So, we have to check that is we have to solve is not it now. 
substitute this point 1 comma 1 in this equation if we substitute in place of x1 y1 it is satisfied am I correct 1 plus 1 2 2 is equal to 2 it is satisfied which implies that a line that is x plus y equal to 2 passes through this point of intersection got it. So, this is the line x plus y is equal to 2. Now, we plotted all the 4 region am I right. So, what is the next step to before identifying the limits first you have to identify the bounded region what is the bounded region it should be bounded all sides of the given region am I correct. So, just go through the diagram one or two times just look into the diagram we have to identify the bounded region yes x is equal to 0 one side y is equal to x another side x plus y equal to 2 another side am I correct we are not supposed to consider this triangle got it since y is equal to 0 is not given therefore this side is unbounded got it so we have to consider the bounded so this is the region of integration this is the region of integration got it therefore we have to integrate this region for that we have to identify the new limits isn't it now thereafter we have to find the new limits for that we have to consider a horizontal strip already we identify what is the order dx dy so for dx we have to take a strip horizontal strip parallel to x axis isn't it now so just uh, i just draw this bounded region once again and then just imagine if you are considering a horizontal slip like this ok just imagine to cover this region of integration just move the strip up and down to cover the region of integration got it therefore these two ends represent the limit points. So, we have to check whether these two points touches the same region or a different region am I right. So, just to move the strip up and down to cover the region the left hand side the left hand side of the strip touches the line x is equal to 0 no different region am I right and come to the right hand side in the right hand side it touches two different region x plus y equal to 2 from this point to this point and from this point onwards it touches the line y is equal to x not the same region. So, what you have to do we have to divide the region of integration into two part got it. So, consider this as i1 and then this as i2 thereafter we have to evaluate. So, first we integrate i1 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 is nothing but double integral we have to find out the limits parallel to x axis means write down the values of x ok. So, this is our i1 here x is equal to 0 there x is equal to y and then y starts from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 1 since this point is 1 comma 1 already we identified therefore the line is nothing but y is equal to 1 therefore x ranges between 0 to x is equal to y and y ranges between 0 to y is equal to 1 therefore i1 first integration i1 0 to y 0 to 1 x by y what order is dx dy so i1 is nothing but 1 by 4 next we have to evaluate i2 second now we have to evaluate the second region that is i2 so this is the top a triangle isn't it now so i2 left hand side x 0 and right hand side x plus y is equal to 2 and y ranges between y is equal to 1 and this point is nothing but 0 comma 2 and this is 2 comma 0 isn't it now therefore here 0 comma 2 now we have to consider a horizontal strip parallel to x axis write down the values of x so left hand side lower limit x ranges between 0 2 what is the value in right hand side x is equal to 2 minus y and then y ranges between rotate the strip and fix it on the axis means y ranges between y is equal to 1 to y is equal to 2 therefore i2 double integral 0 to 2 minus y 1 to 2 x by y dx dy. So, we have to evaluate with respect to x first 2 log 2 minus 5 by 4 this is our i2 almost end of the problem what is the last step simply combine these two region to identify the region of integration therefore i i is nothing but i1 plus i2 what is our i1 i1 is nothing but 1 by 4 and i2 is nothing but 2 log 2 
minus 5 by 4. So, the answer for this region of integration is 2 log 2, 1 by 4 minus 5 by 4 is 4 by 4 that is equal to minus 1. Yes, students, next problem, change order of integration, double integral 0 to 1, y to 2 minus y, x y dy dx and hence evaluate. Almost similar, the region if you look so the limits is almost the same region, but uh, the, or the region of integration may differ, ok. We will evaluate, how to evaluate this integration. First step, as we discussed in the previous problem, whatever be the given order, even though it is in the right sense, just forget about it, you have to write on the given order from the limits. Now look into the limits, limits in terms of y, so it means these two are the values of x, therefore another one is the value of y. So this is the order of integration, therefore given order, what is the given order of integration? dx dy, to change order means, to change the order, to change order means dy dx, that is we have to evaluate first with respect to y and then with respect to x. So first with respect to y means how to consider the strip, we have to consider a vertical strip parallel to y axis, ok. So I will identify the order. Next step to find the new limits from the given region, we have to identify the boundary region. So write down the given region, x is equal to y, x is equal to 2 minus y and then y is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. These three already in the proper sense, no need to change, simply change this line, x plus y is equal to 2, that is nothing but x by 2, y by 2 is equal to 1. So these are the four region, ok. Let me plot the graph first, x, y, plot first x is equal to y, that is the point 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2 is a bisector of the first quadrant, sorry not a first quadrant, is a bisector of the first and the third, x is equal to y and then y is equal to 0, there is nothing but equation of x axis and then y is equal to 1, y is equal to only parallel to x axis, the line parallel to x axis cut at the point 0, 1, ok, this is the line y is equal to 1 and we have to plot one more, there is nothing but x intercept 2, y intercept 2. Okay, therefore, x intercept to 2, y intercept 2, just to join these three lines, once again these three points, once again we have a doubt, either this line passes through this intersection point, for that we have to solve. So, this point 1 comma 1, since x is equal to y, y equal to 1 crosses, so if you substitute y equal to 1 means x is equal to 1, therefore the point of intersection is 1 comma 1. Let me check whether this point passes through this intersection, isn't it now? For that, just allocate, randomly allocate some values, x is equal to 0, 1, 2, ok. What is the value of y? y is equal to, y is equal to 2 minus x. If you substitute x is equal to 0, y 2. If you substitute x is equal to 1, y 1. And x is equal to 2 means y is 0, am I right? So just joining 2 comma 0, 1 comma 1, 0 comma 2, this is the line x plus y is equal to 2, ok, almost similar to the previous problem what we discussed, but here what is the bounded region, look into the diagram one or two times, it should be bounded from all sides, isn't it now, so here not x is equal to 0 is not given, given is only y equal to 0, in the previous problem x is equal to 0 is given, that is why we consider this triangle, got it, so in this problem y is equal to 0 is given, therefore this side is an unbounded. So the bounded triangle is only the lower part. Is it clear? Look into the region once again. This is x is equal to y, this is x plus y equal to 2 and this is y is equal to 0. So this part is a bounded region. So we have to integrate only this part, ok. Already we identify how to consider the strip parallel to y axis, isn't it now? So consider the strip parallel to y axis. Now what you have to do? We have to check whether the two ends such as the same region or two different region, isn't it now? For the just move the strip uh, front and back, ok, just uh, here and there, check whether it touches the same region or not. So if you consider the strip like this, ok, just move here and there, the bottom line touches only the line y is equal to 0, there is no change. But in the top, uh, the top end of the strip touches, from this point to this point, the line x is equal to y, and thereafter it touches the point x plus y is equal to 2, not the same region. 
So what you have to do? We have to divide the region of integration into two parts and then we have to evaluate. At last, we just add these two values. First region, this is the region of integration. We divide this into two parts, I1 and then I2. Okay. So first we evaluate I1. For that, we have to consider this step parallel to y axis. So y ranges between y is equal to 0 to here y is equal to x and then x, x ranges between 0 comma 0 to here 1 is not it now x is equal to 1 therefore y 0 to y is equal to x, x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 therefore i 1 double integral 0 to x 0 to 1 x y what is the order dy dx it reduces to 1 by 8 i1 value is 1 by 8 now to evaluate i2 that is the second half second half consider a strip here bottom line is y is equal to 0 and here x plus y is equal to 2 what is the range of x x is equal to 1 2 x is equal to 2 therefore y ranges between 0 to 2 minus x and x ranges between 1 to 2 therefore I2 double integral 0 to 2 minus x 1 to 2 x y order is dy dx. So first we have to evaluate with respect to y treat x as a constant 3 5 5 by 24 this is our I2 got it. So last step what you have to do we have to combine these two regions that is I1 plus I2 that is our region of integration. Therefore, already we find out the I1 value is nothing but 1 by 8 and then I2 value is 5 by 24. So, take LCM is 8 3 SAR. Therefore, 8 by 24 that is equal to 1 by 3. Got it? So, this is a value for the given region. Yes, students, hope you like this video. In this uh, video, we discuss two problems under change order of integration. In the coming videos, we will discuss more problems under change of order of integration. Thank you.